What's up, y'all? It's Dr. Paul. Still working on this cover to Detective Comics number 59, second appearance of the Penguin. Remember, I bought it pretty inexpensively with known color touch and a bunch of tape on it. So, summary so far, we did a dry clean. We disassembled the books by the book by removing the two staples. I used hexane to remove the tape carrier, which is the plastic strip that left behind the adhesive. I used a xylene to actually remove the adhesive with a scraper. Those nonpolar solvents didn't do much to the ink, uh, the the actual color touch ink. Um, the xylene took some of this yellow out. Then we went to an aqueous bath. We did aqueous with 1% uh, Triton X 1000 in warm or 100 in warm water. We did two 10 minute baths of that, two 10 minute warm water rinses after. Um, dried it under pressure. And then we went back to non-polar solvents. We did um, hexane alone, and then we did hexane plus xylene together, 50-50, um, half a liter. And I did that for 10 minutes with rocking, and I don't think that made much of a difference. So I'm gonna go back to aqueous. Uh, this time, instead of a surfactant, I'm gonna start going the route of deacidification. So, I have a super saturated solution of calcium hydroxide and I'm going to mix that 50-50 with warm tap water and I'm going to give this a good soak in that. So we'll deacidify the paper. It's a mild bleaching agent and it does have a very high pH. Um, we will see if that high pH helps to start move to uh, move some of this color touch. The color touch um, did come up in the aqueous bath with respect to the blue. This was color touched and now the I think the ink is essentially gone. Um, the green right here and there was red. There was red you could see on the interior and some red right here that's been largely removed if not 100% removed. What has not yet moved and has been very stubborn is the black color touch. So there's black color touch here, down this line. I think, well, definitely here, here, and here, and possibly some here in Robin's mask as well. So this is what we need to focus on. And uh, I'm hopeful that that uh, aqueous water bath will continue to move that black ink out. We do, we have had some movement because if you look at the earlier videos, what is now kind of a faded blue area here, this was literally a black line when we started. So we've had some movement in that ink, but not enough. Not enough to satisfy me that we're getting the color touch out. So next step is an aqueous bath, like I said, with um, basically half saturated calcium carbonite, uh, calcium hydroxide rather. Um, and that'll buffer and deacidify the paper and potentially give us some additional loss of ink, uh, hopefully just mostly in the area we want. So Stay tuned for that, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, we're back with our cover to Detective Comics number 59, <clears throat> between two pieces of Rame paper in our photography um, tray. And we're about to do a half saturated calcium hydroxide bath so this is approximately 0.8 grams of calcium hydroxide per liter of water for those of you that aren't chemistry majors i'm going to give you a really simple 
uh, trick to get the correct concentration. So <clears throat> use a spatula like this one. You scoop your calcium hydroxide into a vessel. And don't know how well you can see this, but I've put so much in that it's no longer in solution. It's what's called super saturated. So some of the calcium hydroxide is just sitting on the bottom like salt. So this solution up here is saturated. In fact, it's called super saturated because we have undissolved calcium hydroxide on the bottom of the solution, okay? I can just shake this up and then once it settles, I know that the solution above the salt layer is saturated. I know that the saturation of calcium hydroxide in room temperature water is 1.6 grams per liter. So I know that that's what that concentration is at. Then I take that and I mix it 50-50 with warm water. So I just have a big jar. I have half liter marked and one liter. I fill up to the half liter with my super saturated mixture of calcium hydroxide. And then I fill the rest of the way up to one liter with warm tap water. So I don't need a balance or any special measuring tools, but I know exactly what the concentration of calcium hydroxide is. It's half saturated. So that's the trick. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and work on deacidifying this off screen and um, I'll show you results later.